gotta make sure it's looking good. Yeah. Hey, so uh, tell me, how'd you feel out there? 165, first time competing in, in, in that division. Was it what you expected? Uh, physically, I felt better than, than I ever have. No point was I breathing hard. Um, I could see all the shots coming and I, and I felt real strong when I, when I grabbed them. How yeah. was the weight loss for 165? A lot better uh, physically. Like I was able to work out the day of, of weigh-ins. Um, which surprised my coaches even like usually I'm, I'm a dead man in the tub and you know in, in the mummy or however and, and feeling like I'm about to die I was able to run I ran to get the weight off so that's not uh, something that's normal and I felt like that even helped my cardio even more because I never got depleted before the fight yeah you had told me that focus and cardio were sort of the big ingredients that were going to come along with the 165 weight class do you, yeah. you feel like that, that was it you, did you feel that in there yeah and this fight really tested that too uh, the first kick that he threw, you know, blew out my ACL or, or something. We, we're going to get the MRI and see. But uh, that could have broke my focus. Two years ago, it would have broke my focus for sure. I'd have been thinking about that the whole time. And even though it crept up, I was able to put it on the back burner and get the job done. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm proud of that. Yeah. And you're no stranger to knee injuries. So like yeah. as soon as you felt that you knew something some serious? Yeah, because it, it wasn't like a pain. It's not a pain thing, you know. Um, the pain is starting to come now that the adrenaline is wearing off, but uh, it wasn't a pain thing. It was like a structure thing. So, um, yeah, I kind of I knew. Yeah. But uh, I got many ways to win a fight. Um, was, I relied on my grappling a little bit. Wasn't really expecting that this fight. Uh, was working the jab and the left hook was getting through. Uh, just the right hand wasn't, wasn't able to get through. Yeah. What knee was it? Uh, left knee. Yeah. yeah, left knee, first kick. If you, I'm gonna go back, re replay that motherfucker because I don't know how that happened. Yeah. And it seems you're still in very good spirits. I mean, oh, you see, like, that sucks that you went through that, but does the win, 165, everything else sort of overshadow that? Yeah, I feel like this put me on the, on the right track to, to getting that championship, like, how I want it. Um, mentally, that, that's the things that I had to overcome in there. Um, and it, and it kind of reaffirmed what, what I knew, you know? Um, you don't really know until you get in there with these fights and see when you test it like that. See if, when, when you are injured, if you can keep going through. Uh, and I feel like I overcame that adversity. And me a year ago or two years ago, or the me that fought Tony Ferguson for the, for the UFC title, wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to push through in that way. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm finally at this level. All right, uh, you, your first fight at UFC, mm -hmm. uh, 165 pounders division. What message do you have for free agents who want to come over here? What experience have you experienced? What message do you have them for, for them to come? Uh, it's amazing over here, man. It's amazing. Like it, it's a different, it's a different level of, of focus and a different level of uh, of, of talent, really. You know, it's it's nice that we're in a sport where this isn't. It's not a one-stop shop anymore. It's not a one pony uh, pony horse trip uh, show. Fucking shit. Uh, one trip pony. <laughs> yeah, that, you just that fought, part. You just fought. Okay. That part. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. Got paid well, um, good fight. So it's the type of fight the UFC would have put on. And I felt like the atmosphere was even better. Uh, the people were, were, it was classy. It was a classy, nice, nice little show. I like it. Yeah. Do you want your next fight to be for the title? Yeah, I, th I think it's, I think it's time for a title for sure. Um, we'll see about the knee. We'll see once it, once it heals up. But, uh, I'm the best 165 hour out there. And if there's any free agents and you willing to w step in at 165, Let's go. Let's go. If you're willing to step on that mat at 165, I'm going to beat your ass. And a, a message out there beyond just the free agents, but the, the fighters that are struggling that between 170 and, and 155, I mean, you've been in that spot, and uh, it's a tough spot, right? Because you're sort of in this sport that has no place for you, and Eagle FC has opened the doors for fighters like you to develop like, and, and be able to reach their full potential. Um, what, what does that mean to you, and also any word out there for the fighters that might be in, in the same situation in other promotions? It, it, it means longevity in the sport. Uh, a lot of us kill ourselves with that weight cut and we're taking years off of our, our ability to compete. We already know this is a short window that you've got to really capitalize. So the, the less you have to deal with outside of the cage, I feel like it's just going to extend the, the sport even longer. Uh, even a guy like Diego would have had a few more years and a few more years of his prime uh, if he didn't have to make those drastic weight cuts. So uh, if I was young, younger, and even though my body could do it, don't put yourself through it. You know, this is a tough sport as it is. You, you don't have to make it even tougher. Yeah. Tell the people what's in store for the fans, the MMA world, Kevin Lee at 165. What are we in for? 
A gold belt. A gold belt is next.